right, everybody. You guys know what time it is. It's paramotoring time. We're going to go for another beach flight adventure with Pilot Tom. But not only is it going to be another regular beach flight, this time we're going to laugh around the whole island. Very excited about this flight. I can't wait to bring you guys all along. We are going to go up against some really challenging winds. So it's going to be very windy, but parallel with the beach. So I hope you guys all do enjoy. Let's quit wasting time here in the shop. Let's go grab the star and let's go get to the beach. All right, we are recording. Got some gnarly winds going on. Let's fire this back up. Okay, it looks good. Alright, got these people here. Power up a little. Good winds. Just had a little mini wing collapse there. Woo. So I guess when I was getting up above, you know, the winds of all the houses here on the beach, I felt some crazy turbulence. It feels much better over here. All right, Tom is up in the air, dude, sick. All right, let's see how high we are. Crypto, make me rich. <laughs> Please. Okay, so going to my altimeter. Oh yeah, I forgot to put gaggle on. Gotta get gaggle going. Record. We're already up here. Start recorder. Okay. I'm already taking off. All right, so now let's go to my altimeter just to see. We are right now at 870 feet. Okay. 870 feet. Epic. Dude, I feel like I'm barely moving. I'm actually surprised that the uh, parasailers aren't out here. Oh no, yeah, they are. There's Joel right there. Yeah, right in front of us. Dude, it feels so nice up here. Oh, sick. They're letting out the sail right now. You know, it's amazing how their sail never touches the water. Yeah, Gaggle just said that I'm at 800 feet. Oh, they're sailing off. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah, Joel told me about with the uh, parasailing, that thing only gets up to about 500 feet. Yeah, they got the smiley face on the parasail, right? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's it, that's them. Yeah, that's definitely them. Phew. So we're just up here flying. Uh, I don't know what happened with our phone call. But we up here. There's a banner flying under us. Yeah, I was trying to get back on the phone with you. I don't know why I couldn't get you. Wow. Dude, the banner plane's turning around. All right. He looks like he's climbing. Yeah, dude, that's 
That's awesome. Oh, dude, that's sick. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, this is so nice up here, Tom. Wow, this is sick, dude. I can't believe we're flying on the inland side of it. Yeah, with banner plane right under you. Yeah, airplane just took off at the airport. It's under us. Wow. That's so crazy, Tom, how it's hard to see them. He just passed you. That's crazy. And we're actually flying inland back to our spot, which is pretty gnarly. This is something that we don't typically do. We normally fly the south, I mean the uh, the beach inside, so this is pretty gnarly stuff. Good temperatures, we're running at 309 degrees. So it's so funny, Gaggle just told me that we're basically up at 3,000 feet. I just lost a uh, cell phone uh, contact with pilot Tom. So sick, flying over the airport on the island. Look at all those airplanes down there. Sick. So like pilot Tom said, we have a flight restriction of height at the north end of the island here. So when we come up, we just got to be below 1,300 feet. A lot of risk when you're flying over on this side now because we don't have really anywhere to land. Like we can land on these little islands everywhere, but then, choo, that's a boat ride home for sure. And Gaggle just said that we're going up to 33 miles an hour and we're at a height of 3,000 feet. So once we get closer to this one bridge here, we're going to have to get half of this height. So, a little bit less than half of the height. We are high, boy. This is so sick, though, flying like this. Oh, there's another banner plane. All this boat activity going on down here. What is going on? All right, sick. All right, so we're up at a pretty good height, but we gotta definitely start to descend now. I I'll tell you what though, my idol has been on the lower side, which I've been liking a lot actually. Um, dude, but this was crazy. I can't believe we just lapped around the island. I've actually personally have never done that yet. And it's super cool that Tom and I just actually attempted to do that. Cool. Oh, that's so cool to see the high school that I went to. Oh, it's so epic. Sick. All right, Tom is trying to do to descend a little bit. I guess I want to do the same. Sick, Tom. Woo! Sick, dude. So, what an epic time. You know, I love coming out here. I love doing these flights. Sometimes you don't know what to expect when you come up in the air. And, man, the winds were just gnarly. I'm feeling a little bit of... Uh, Pilot Tom's rotor right there. I'm gonna try to maybe land like that. Uh, keeping it. Wow. Okay. Woo! Wow.
Ugh. Dude, I feel like it dumped me right down. Wow, what a flight that me and Tom just went on. Did you guys see in the beginning how I had that miniature collapse? The winds were so high that I was getting all this crazy rotor off of the buildings that was creating all these crazy bumps until I got to a good height and really closer to the ocean. Where I took off at was basically at the inlet and it was the north end of the island. So typically I take off on the beach and the winds were parallel with the beach. So like I said, once we got over to the ocean, it was such a great flight. But at the beginning it was like, oh my gosh, but me and Tom got to get around the whole island and it was amazing. We flew over all the banner planes. It was such a good time. A little sketchy flying over all that water on the way back, but we did have a tailwind pushing us a lot faster than we did going south. So it was, you know, it was really good. We were up at a good height that if we did have a motor out, we would have chances to figure something out. And all around, it was so much fun, and I hope that you guys all did enjoy it. And even when I came in on my landing, you saw as soon as I was getting closer to the buildings, it started to get really bumpy, and then I tried everything I could to get that flare down to walk it out on the beach, and you know, I just felt like I got dumped right into the sand, but it was a very soft dump. It wasn't anything crazy. I probably could have actually ran it out, but I hope that you guys, like I said, all did enjoy it. I really did. Make sure you guys stay tuned. I have a lot more videos to come. And like I said uh, before, thanks again for watching. Until the next one, peace out.